Hello, I'm Bianca from the Netherlands and they asked me to do this video uh, in English so everyone will know what I saw in hell. It was about uh, 23 years ago and I didn't know how to call on the name of Jesus and I didn't believe in hell and I also didn't believe in the devil. So I was laying on my bed and also I didn't do any drugs or alcohol and I was laying on my bed and my spirit got sucked out of my body and with a high speed um, I, I came in a tunnel and the tunnel uh, was uh, going to the deeps uh, to the depths of the earth and um, when the, the, the speed was slowing down, the tunnel became smaller and smaller and everywhere hands came out and they wanted to, to grab me and to scratch me. And uh, when the hands uh, disappeared, I came uh, face to face with Satan and Satan is very big. So I only could see his, um, his head, and his head was very big and um, my, my body um, stands still and I came uh, face to face with Satan. So that, that big he was, that I only could see his head. And he had uh, red eyes, red eyes, he had a black skin. Uh, but the skin was like uh, of a lizard and he had teeth like uh, teeth like uh, it was f uh, teeth like a shark and it was awful it was horrific 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 and at that moment I, I knew what eternity was because yeah, you knew, you know when you, you, yeah, you know when you are there. There's no escape. You can escape hell. And I was there, and uh, I was looking at Satan, and and then he started to growl, but in a language I don't know. But there came so much hatred, hatred. Ooh, the hatred was terrible. And he he came after me and uh, yeah you are when you are in hell you can do nothing you are delivered to the torturers and they can do everything with you what they want and so he started to ground and uh, started to talk in his language but only what i felt was the hatred the hatred and the hatred was yeah it, it was it was horrific it felt like uh, arrows uh, piercing your your soul, your soul uh, everywhere. You 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 are so much agony, and uh, I, I can ex I cannot explain it because it was really it was so awful. It was really horrific. The torture you you feeling in in hell, and yeah, you wanted to scream for help, but I I didn't know um, who I can call to. But I I can tell you that the hatred I felt at that moment it was much worse than we can imagine here on earth. Everything there is million times worse than you have here on earth when you think all oh, people hate me put all the hatreds of all the people and put it in one person and that is what i saw in satan and even then it was million times worse it was really worse and i have to warn you hell is real hell is real and i didn't believe it but when I was there, oh yeah, all the doubts disappeared. I knew, and I knew this was Satan. And, but I didn't know how to call for help. And then a movie um, 
came in my mind. I um, saw um, a movie that um, some um, people were possessed with the demon, with Satan, with the devil, and um, they called on the name of Michael. I saw it in the movie, so I, th I thought the angel Michael can help me. Yeah, because he did in that movie. So I started to cry, cry out, Michael, Michael, save me, save me. And then uh, a cloud appeared. And you know, I didn't know any story of the, Bi of, uh, the Bible. I didn't know um, Jesus will uh, come on the clouds. I, I didn't know in the Old Testament also God came in a cloud. I didn't know, but I, I was in hell and I saw a, um, a cloud appeared. And I, I thought, this, 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 is, this, this is weird. What is the cloud doing here in hell? And then the hand came out and I believe it was the hand of Jesus, but I didn't know at that time. And his hand came out and grabbed me like this. And I painted it. I asked God, please, I want this experience uh, paint, uh, painted. And I painted it and this was what it uh, was looked like. I was in hell and I shouted out and the, the cloud uh, appeared and this hand came out. And he grabbed me and put me back in my body. And after that, I um, after this this experience, I I couldn't really talk for a while. I couldn't get the words out. I didn't um, dare to um, tell this, this story to anyone. Because all the people around me are atheists, so it was very difficult. Um, I only uh, um, told the story um, of hell to people, but it was many, many years later, many years later. Uh, maybe uh, 10 years later or something. but. At the time, I couldn't talk to anyone about it. I thought they think I'm I'm crazy, and but I was really scared. And but after that time, I, I knew hell was real, and I want to warn you: hell is a real place, and it is really horrific, horrific. You cannot uh, defend yourself. You are delivered up to the torturers. And it's a million times worse than you can imagine. You cannot see this, this horror here on earth. Even when people kill each other and do crazy things to each other. And do hateful things. Even in, in the war. Uh, when you hear of the evil things they did in war, this is million times worse. And you cannot die in hell. You live there forever. So the torture will go on and go on to eternity. So I want to warn you, um, don't go to that place. Give your life to Jesus today. Don't wait till tomorrow because you don't know if you live tomorrow. You're one breath away from this place. So please, please. I, I didn't, uh, at that time, I didn't believe in this. But this is real and it is horrific. I cannot um, say it in other words. And even then, uh, when I say horrific, I, I, I will tell you it's much worse than that. So please, please, please give your life to Jesus today. And also I will tell to the Christians, please uh, forgive each other. 
Please live um, a truly holy life. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, it's not about religion, but it's about a relationship with Jesus. And to obey his voice. Please, please, please. Repent, repent and give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He gave his life for you. So, God bless you.